So solid objects, the pressure counters the gravitational attraction. But sun is not solid, it is gaseous. Gaseous objects also have pressure. Some, if you have gas, it is hot. Then random motion, random motion of the atoms and molecules, because of that there is pressure. Okay. And the pressure gradient can counteract the gravitational attraction. How does it happen? Pressure here, pressure, everything is spherical symmetric, so pressure will also be spherically symmetric. It will depend only on the radial coordinate. So here there will be pressure P of R. And so this lower surface of the shell will feel a pressure P of R. Outer surface will feel a pressure P and R plus V R. Okay? Because the pressure is changing. But then you can ask if the pressure here is P of R, pressure outwards is P of R plus V R, then how much force due to pressure is being exerted and which direction? So how much force is acting on the volume element due to pressure? Gravity we know. Now we have to ask what is the pressure? Remember, we have learned something about pressure and that is what is that? Pascal's law. Pascal's law says that at any given point in a fluid, the pressure is in all directions. So there is pressure at this point in all directions. Pressure is in all directions. But this volume element, here the pressure is acting outwards. There is also pressure here, but this volume element is feeling at this point the pressure outwards, while this point is feeling the pressure downwards. So therefore, the net force due to pressure is the difference between this and this. That is the net. So therefore, there we know that the pressure difference, pressure difference times area will give you the force, the difference in pressure. And we want minus we have taken it upon because it is going in this direction. And the pressure must be in the opposite direction to balance it. And the opposite direction pressure is that it will be PR which is going outwards minus P of R plus D. That is outwards. But if you want to go in the inner direction, so in the same direction, or let me make it magnitude. After all, directions will count equal. But if you want to know magnitude, then you will find that the in this direction, the pressure in this direction is what? PR plus VR. Because this is acting on this direction. Minus P of R. Times D A. So this pressure into area is force. This is the force acting on the volume element in this direction. And therefore, direction wise you should equate this. And this must be equal to this. That will be. But this is PR plus VR minus PR. So you say, okay, how do you write it? What do you do? You do a Taylor expansion. People know of familiar of Taylor expansion? How do you write PR plus DR in terms of PR and derivative of PR? You know all this? Huh? Okay, uh, let me. Let me. Okay, so let me ask you this. What is, okay, there is another way Suppose you have a function at the top of this. So consider a real function, x is a real variable. And f of x is a function of that real variable. What is the meaning of df by dx? df by dx is nothing but f of x plus delta x minus f of x divided by delta x and then limit. Delta x tends to 
there is a definition of df by dx. So therefore, look at it. Therefore, so this minus this my divided by dr would have been dp by dr. So therefore, this object is dp by dr multiplied by dr into dp. So therefore, the equation we have got is this is equal to dp by dr multiplied by dr into dp. Okay. So the pressure balancing the gravitational attraction is given by this and the magic happens. That's the power of mathematics. Whenever I teach my students, when students come into our MSc, they say, look, physics, we want to understand physics. We don't want mathematics. But I keep telling them, you can't do physics without mathematics. The power of mathematics is now the magic happens. The magic, after all the, the magic is all the DA, DR, all that get cancelled. And we have now a neat equation. And the neat equation is the hydrostatic equation dp by dr is equal to minus g minus g m of r rho of r by So this is for a spherically symmetric object, this equation guarantees that an object doesn't collapse under its own weight. This is called the The generalization to non-sphericity is immediate. You can say what happens when you have no spherical symmetry, the gradient of pressure will be minus g mr rho r by r square into unit vector in the radius. Those who would do astrophysics later on, you can. Uh, so therefore, the the moral of this entire story is that if you have a spherically symmetric gaseous cloud, and you see that the gaseous cloud is neither contracting nor expanding, then it must be satisfying such an equation. Yeah. Question. Uh, I just wanted to know why P of R is not acting in the same direction as P of R plus DR. No, no. So, as I said, pressure is not a force. Pressure is not a vector quantity. Pressure is a function which tells you that at this point, in which all direction there could be forces. And Pascal's law guarantees that in any liquid, at any point, the force arising due to pressure would be in all direction. And therefore now we are asking because of that what is the net direction in which the force due to pressure acts on this volume element. So this volume element is bounded by the outer surface, inner surface and also this surface. But this surface we know that they are counteracting the pressure, pressure forces, they are cancelling. This direction will be RR, this direction will be RR, they are but this upward and downward, they are not cancelling because pressure in general depends upon R. So therefore, here at this level, in all regard, on the fluid is acting on this fluid. Here, pressure for the all regard, on the fluid is acting on this fluid. Right. So now, the bottom line is for a spherically symmetric object, in order that object is neither collapsing nor expanding, this equation must be satisfied. And a part of astrophysics, mainly those who deal with stellar dynamics, stellar structures, stellar dynamics, for them, a large training is imparted how to solve such equation. In general, it's not easy to solve because you don't know what is how m of r changes with r, how rho of r changes with r, how dp by dr changes with r. So, Case by case, people who do stellar structure and astronomy, astrophysical, social stars, they have to go through a whole technique of how to solve such equation, how to reduce this equation to lay equation and so on. 